water water. Oh, Caillou! He's suffering from the dust. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you what's behind you right now, which is the deck, or what was the deck of the boat, and I'm going to explain a bit. So. This used to be the deck. Here there is still some, but we're keeping this in because that's actually holding all this up. Uh, this has all been removed because we needed to replace a lot of the beams. Have a look here. Not so good. So also well, lots of humidity was accumulating between the deck and the beams. Over there, there was the anchor winch, which was quite uh, wobbly when pulling up an anchor. We want to really have a nice mount for that. So that's actually stored at the moment. Bowsprit is in a good condition. And here it is in a good condition. We're just waiting for the Cintado, which is a top eight centimeter plank and the Contra Cintado to be placed, which are currently being made over there. Also, if you have a look behind, this whole deck area has been removed. Also, for the main reason, because we're gonna work a lot on this, if not all of this and we're gonna place all the beams again. So at first, we, mainly I, was really upset about all the deck being rotten, all the beams being rotten and everything that has to be redone. Because I was busy here removing the deck and the beams while MP was with her dad doing some important stuff for our diesel and other engine stuff. And she arrived to find it all just gone. It was a quick removal and she saw, she arrived and it was all gone. So it was quite depressing for me, but now I'm looking at it and I'm so glad all that rot is gone. And the more rotten things we find, the more new things we're building. So our boat will be so much newer than what I thought from the beginning. I thought I would have a half new, half old boat and now I'm gonna have a new boat almost. So it's actually good news. What do we have in here? Oh, and P, are you really showing me another plank after all the planks you already showed me? No, this is not just another plank. This is the Cintado, which is the top, the top plank, the one that goes on top of everything else. That will be a lot thicker and a very important piece because it's the one that holds the boat together. You can actually see how thick, because what have they done here? Yeah, it's two together. Ding, ding. This is the whole thing. So this one is part one. And this is part two, which together, they're actually the same size almost. They're going to make an eight centimeter thick plank, which is going to go all the way on top, holding all the frames together. Ain't that right? Yes, it's right. This one is the first one that's been made already. Now, because they're gonna be on top of each other to make an eight centimeter plank, this has just been laid on here. Uh, it's been very simple. The lines have just been drawn. The numbers have been copied. So five, five, six, six, and so on. They're the frame numbers. Also on this end, the bow corners being put on where it's gonna reach the, touch the stem. 
Now this one has to be cut. There's two more planks over there. So we'll have four planks that we can start putting onto the boat already. So these planks have now been made like you might know these are not just any planks these two will be put together and those two will also be put together so they make the cintado which is the top plank what's going to happen is one of them will be nailed to the frames like normal that will be put on make sure it's flush and the second one will be nailed onto this one crossing onto the next one so imagine there's another one from here to there and this one will go on top covering both this one and the next one so that's what's going to create the cintado which is the top plank but these are the first this is going to create the first plank on port and starboard even though there's four there'll be one on each side so two So this little platform here has been put on later we think because we used to, there used to be four or two air conditioning units so one and two at least the engines for the air conditioning however now it's not like we need a bench here whatever this is also lots and lots of water was accumulating in between here because there wasn't an exit so this is going to be removed and it will have so much potential, so we'll see what we can do with it. spacious now over here and even if we did want some seating doesn't it just make sense to put some foldable benches here or some nice bean bags or a hammock so yeah ah, this is actually MP smiley that's very funny so when we were sleeping in the boat for the first few months we had lots and lots of water infiltration from these corners here these just caught loads of water okay let's save the blankets so and P and i did a challenge that she would stick a flex her side and i would do my side which is currently full of rubbish just to see who would get wet at night still should have done this on day one now Of course, these are the most important things. Ha! 
because it was raining a lot and everything. And then P did a little signature with Sika Flex while she was at it. How funny is that that we found that again? So the Sintado is being put on right now, the belt. However, this is the first plank of the Sintado. It's just being applied like a regular plank. And all they're doing is they're just clamping it up at the bow first while the rest is holding it. I can't stand on here because you can see there's already quite a budging, a bud, budge work to get these platforms made. So I can't put more weight in it, but they're just clamping up the front, the bow, holding the back, and they're going to nail the front into the frames as they're going to hold it here and then clamp it more towards here and nail it in more and more. So now you can obviously see why it's called the belt as it's literally hugging or going to hug all these frames together. And that's going to go along the tips of all the frames. So the joint, the next plank is going to be put along here with one plank covering both planks going over the joint, which means it won't open. So what we're doing now is, so now we've got the height of the beams, so we've got two beams remaining. We are comparing that to the height of the Sintado and increasing the height, well, hiring it or putting it higher or lower, depending on the height of where the beams are going to be before this last meter or three meters gets nailed against the frames. Okay, this starboard Sintado belt is on already over here going around this big winch you can see that we've almost well they've almost finished putting on the port side Sintado each frame has been nailed on already except for that one and there's three more remaining however here will be cut because the planks can only finish in the middle of a frame so the next plank will start so these are almost done, other side's done as you saw, and I'm going to start working on the rest. So now the first most forward top planks are in already, they still have to be nailed in a bit more towards the back, and that's not going to be done yet until this one's been made, because we need to figure out if we need to still cut a bit off that one, put this one on, so that's being made right now. They are very long planks. Vai 
The weather is definitely catching up on us, but have a look at this. The second one is already in place. All the way up to the bow. All that has to be done is it has to be nailed in. So once that's nailed in, at least it's the most forward bit. It's already fixed and then hopefully the rain won't. Whatever, tomorrow we'll be able to finish this and hopefully also put the one on the port side. Lighter hiding in that door, and Nico hiding in that door, sheltering from the storm. That is funny. A lot of water. Oh, Caillou! He's suffering from the dust. Let's take him over here now, out of the wind. Look at that. Did you suffer a bit? Over here, same thing. First plank has been placed on. Second plank joins on over there and gets nailed onto the port side. Onto the port side. Over here, if you have a look, the second plank has already been placed. And let's get a bit closer without falling. As you can see over here. Oh. The joint of the two frames against the two planks against the frames are here, but the ending of the plank that's placed on top is over here. So what's going to happen is the next one is going to cross this joint and actually hold these two together. So the plank is now in place. All that needs to be done is it needs to be nailed to the frames, just like it has been done on the starboard side. And then a putty will go over where the holes are for the nail heads to make sure it's nice and flush and they don't get pushed out. If 
you look at where these frames are actually, well, maybe will stick out the top. This can be lowered and raised. Some frames are already under this level, but the reason why they're sticking over is you can always cut some off, but you can't always add some. So not too much has been cut off the top of these, same on the other side. So when all these planks are in place and the beams are gonna be made and replaced, because same on this side, Oh, okay, watch this. Ready? And here's some brancao, the edge of the sap of the tree. And it should never be in a beam or a piece of wood on a boat. But anyway, when these are going to be replaced, this will be level with the frames and the beams. And then the deck can be laid on top of them. So, yeah. Can you believe this? So while that was being done and is being done, I am actually bringing down some, I don't know how many of our batteries, because I want to take them home to test, see how worth they are. They aren't lithium, but it's still good to know if we can keep them or sell them or what so on, whatever. So I'm bringing them down. Also, we've got lots of big pieces of equipment. So this is actually what held the anchor so I brought that down there's no need to have them in the boat anymore at least not now because it's just there's people walking everywhere there's tools everywhere the woods being removed the flooring the deck the beams being removed so that's all gonna go to the car as well or as much as possible one more thing there is a ship arriving uh, another schooner I just sailed past but anyway that's gonna come that boat's gonna go down. That ship will be lifted up to about where our stern is. Then we'll rotate to be facing us right now. And it's gonna head up here, over here to be fixed. So that'll be fun to see arriving as well. It's a two-masted schooner that doesn't have sails though. Still some good craftsmanship to build those ships. So I've actually managed to load four batteries into the car already. I think I'm gonna have to stop there because the suspension is suffering a bit and if we hit a pothole, I don't wanna ruin the car. So four batteries for now. And then another time we can do the others. I've already brought, we have already brought two solar panels home. They just about fit in the car. There's three more on the roof which are going to be taken down because they're just up there for no reason and bit by bit we've got a little room in the apartment that we just stuff with all your buzz things cushions sailing equipment we're gonna i want to take off all the stoppers and the winch and the running rigging and all that and that's also going to go into that room so so we have a boat easier boat to work on yeah, there's a lot to do. Before we head off and see you next week, we'd like to thank our new patrons, Frederick. Martin, Arthur, and Brian. And also thank the people that they show from Clive, ACP, Jean, Robbie, Oliver, Jonathan, Jack, and Larry. Thank you.